Hi everybody, Laura here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you that was inspired by my daughter's cute little bracelet. Emma's bracelet is by Lego and they have these new things called Lego dots and you can pop them on in these cute little shapes and they make different accessories that you can wear. And I saw her bracelet and I was like, Girlfriend, that could be a card design. So I went straight to my stampin' desk and I pulled out the grid play stamp set because it has that same quarter circle shape. And I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. So I was excited. First thing I'm gonna do is stamp the grid play grid background cling onto a panel of Nina Solar White. This is the new Misty, by the way, that has that great little lip on the edge, which really makes it easy to lift and close the lid on the Misty. I'm gonna ink up the grid with sea glass ink, which is a very light aqua, almost kind of a no-show. You don't really know it's there, but it really helps you to keep your pattern consistent. So I'm gonna start stamping that quarter circle with Lemon Zing ink, which is a bright yellow color. Uh, these are Simon's Stamp inks. I also use a few Alta New inks. I like to combine brands of inks when need be, because I, th I figure, you know, just use the colors that you're feeling and the rest will take care of itself. That's what I say. So don't be limited that you can only use one brand of ink on a project, mix and match. And as you can tell, I'm doing a whole roll of yellow orangey colors, which is not really like her bracelet at all. And when I started, I thought I was gonna make the pattern identical to what was on her bracelet, but then I wasn't feeling it anymore and I had to tweak it. And you know, I think there's a lot to be said for the tweak. The tweak factor is really the secret sauce of creating whenever we're inspired by something, we wanna copy it, I'm the same way, but then you have to give yourself the freedom to tweak it and make it your own. And there's a lot of satisfaction in the tweak. So there's my little two cents for the day. Now I'm restamping that middle quarter circle with fired brick all to new ink and that gave me more contrast, but I wanna make sure I don't contaminate my next row. So I spray on that stamp cleaner, which really gets it clean, gets any orange ink off of that. I'm gonna position my quarter circle again, going a different direction. This time I'm starting with Minty Mint ink by Alta New, which is a light green color. And I'll work my way down to the dark green and then back again to the light. I wanted to keep my stamp mounted on the Misty and just move the cardstock up and down. That's what I would have preferred to do, but honestly, I couldn't figure out the measurements and it was just simpler to just move the stamp. It was a little bit tedious every time you stamp, clean, move, stamp, clean, move. And I counted 42 times I stamped the shape to create this background design. But you know what? I'm not complaining because something about this repetition just cranks my engines. It really does. And you know what? At the end of the day, you just gotta do what works for you. You gotta, you gotta do you. Yeah, you know I mean? if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's all I'm gonna say, I'm gonna leave that at that. And if you haven't noticed, I now switch to the smaller Misty. This is the small mini Misty, the Hero Arts black one. When I started with the big background cling, I had to use the full size, which was the pink My Sweet Petunia one. I love them both. The mini Misty is a little more convenient when you're videoing and when you have small images like I'm stamping here 42 times, the mini Misty is the way to go, but you gotta have the full size too when you're using the background clings or big stamps, you know what I mean? You gotta have all the things all the times. It's just one of those things. Okay, so we're moving our way through here and this row is kind of the pinky red row and then I'll do one more row with the yellowy orange, just like I started with, bring it full circle. And then I'm gonna trim this out with my paper trimmer. This is the good old Tim Holtz guillotine and I'm trimming it right up to the edge, like so. Crop it off on every side, and I'll pop this up on a nice white card base, keeping it clean and simple. Now for a sentiment, I'm using the Just Because Word Mix 2 stamp set. I wanna just stamp that thinking of you. You know these stamps that are, are designed to stamp multiple sentiments at once, but I don't wanna do that today. I just wanna stamp the one that I want, and I wanna emboss it in white onto black cardstock. So I inked it up. I'm pouring on Simon's Stamp white embossing powder. And you can see there a little bit of the uh, surrounding sentiments got on there. That's okay, because this is gonna get trimmed out. 
And there is a coordinating die for this just because word mix too, but I wanted to trim it a little bit tighter than the die does. The die gives more um, border around the edge and I wanted to make this real tight. So I just trimmed it with the paper trimmer because I didn't want to take up too much space on my design, right? I didn't want to take up too much color. So I pop up the panel, pop up the sentiment, and I finish it off with a few Studio Katia, uh, what do you call these, droplets? And this card is finished. Who would ever thunk it? Inspiration from a little girl's bracelet by Lego Dots. You just never know when inspiration might strike. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm thinking of you today. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.